Hey there, you great people. So I hope you've been so well. I am sorry recently with the lack of content or not putting as much content up as normal. I've not been feeling that great and I've been absolutely exhausted for the last week or more, seriously. So I've been really struggling, you know. But I've got a really exciting video for you here. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a little bit, you'll probably recognise the Iron Gate here, which is the porchway to St Thomas and the Apostle Church, which is a church right facing where I live which dates from around 1288 AD, you know, 750 years old, give or take a year or two. And if you've uh, seen this porch before, you've seen this, uh, a printout, like a copy of the wall mural that's in the church. However, today is going to be a little bit different because I'm not just going to be showing you the porch. We've seen this before, but we're actually going to go in the church. And I've actually just recorded this video and then the GoPro froze, so I'm going to have to do it again. But... It is what it is. Remember, if you don't have much time or, or enough time to read what I'm putting in front, you can always pause the video and then keep playing. This is here, the Canons of the Priory, conducting service in the Chapel of St. Thomas from 1288 to 1539, Canons of the Priory, Vicars of St. Thomas, this is. Although it appears on here, they only have records from 1622, with the first recorded one being John Lucas. I'll work my way down the list, but like I said, if you can't read them all in time, it doesn't matter. Just pause the video and then come back. There's also a really nice piece here, which is a picture of the font, you know, it's used for christenings and things like that with holy water in. Well, it's going to be the first thing I show you, because we're going to go over there now. As like I said, I hope you've been enjoying my content recently. I've been trying, but I've been really rather ill. By the way, this uh, font here is very medieval this probably outdates the church so this is probably more than 750 years old see the beautiful what looks like a flower in the middle then also these heads as well if i come around this way it's a bit lighter you might be able to see it if i'm not in the way putting my shadow across each corner has got one of these heads on like i said this is one big piece of granite probably weighs absolutely tons i'm going to show you the top here as well the wooden lid i'm not going to open it or anything like that of course like you know this would be used for christenings and my niece actually my little niece sienna was uh, christened here so she would have had her head dipped in this water i guess um i can't remember how it worked now also i just noticed something when i come in in here it appears a little carpeted area if you look it appears not just a two beautiful pieces of stained glass colored stained glass in front of me and then the incredibly beautiful ones up there which i hope that colors come out in the camera like i said i can't get in this bit because it's locked but also one other thing you'll notice is these hanging down which i'm guessing are the ropes which go to that wooden roof there i'm guessing it's for the bells it must be for the bells i've never seen this before this is only the second time in my life I've ever been in this church. The first time, of course, was about eight or nine years ago for my niece's, uh, niece's christening, like I said. Um, and I never noticed it that time. I think it's because I sat over in that corner over there, that's why. Well, we're gonna have a wander up the front now, a little bit or towards the front. I'm not sure, like I said, I have said before, I'm not pretending to be religious because I'm not really one way or the other, to be honest, but the history in buildings like this is fascinating to me. And I was looking up the history, actually. I'm going to show you this little platform. Let me go up here a little bit. I'll show you a window here. But I was looking up the history, and it's actually recorded that. I think it's in uh, 1324. There was a quarrel in the graveyard here between two gentlemen. Uh, although to me it sounds more more than a quarrel because uh, blood was actually shed um, in the graveyard here literally uh, right behind me <coughs> I'm also going to take a walk up this bit here I'm guessing this is normally I'll be very respectful here where they normally lay coffins on this I guess uh, for funeral services so I'm not going to get too close to this I hope you can see this chair as well it's so dark isn't it no, you're not going to be able to make that out but beautiful chair in the corner here that's incredibly um, delicately carved it really is is even not his <laughs> i'm gonna try and get you really up close up to some of this this is a very large window um in the church the biggest window here i'm just gonna try and get you as close as I can can you see some of that beautiful pieces of stained glass in this window here incredible isn't it 
really is and it helps today that the sun's um it's actually sunny you know the sun's actually on the church and it's lighting up the beautiful piece of uh, stained glass uh, i'm just going to take you in and around the corner here we'll finish up in a minute i'm going to step onto this platform here because if you remember at the start i showed you the wall painting didn't i or a print out of it in the um porch way there well, you can actually buy these little pictures of it here for one in one pound fifty. This is English money, by the way, of what I showed you outside the wall painting in St Thomas Church. By the way, along with the font, this is absolutely incredibly me medieval and probably dates from the same period as the church, around twelve eighty eight, probably. This is probably a completely original feature of the of what appears here. I'm going to try and show you very close up. I'm not going to touch this. It's a very ancient uh, piece on the wall of a really nice angel. And also a gentleman stood next to him. You can work it out, I guess. Would that be Jesus Christ? I, I don't know, to be honest. Impressive. I'll show you another little close up of that. And again, some nice tiling along the window here. Another, this is a much smaller window than the one I've just shown you. Right, let's make our way back off here. Just have a wander back to where we've come from. I will show you something else as well, which is sort of set almost smack bang in the middle of the church here where the microphone is. And this is gorgeous. You Americans will love this. This is a gorgeous, and it's very, very large. Looks like hand carved um, eagle. You can make that out properly. With obviously the uh, prayer book, which is on John 20.931 for Easter, still, I guess. Even though Easter was a, few, what, a week or two ago now. Let's try and get right in front of it. It's quite impressive, isn't it? Right, let's make our way back out. Let's show you some of the roof as well. Look at all this timber work in here. Quite incredible, isn't it? Like I said, I'm not religious whatsoever, really, one way or the other, but one thing I do love about places like this is the history and the events that have gone on here, the christenings, the funerals, um, the marriages, um, and everything else, you know, um, and the other sort of people that would have been here from 1288 AD. It's insane, you know, a period of time, three quarters of a millennium this has been here, you know. And head back out anyway and finish up we can probably see me a little bit better and then i'm gonna lock up um yeah like i said i really really hope you enjoyed this video it's about time uh, and remember this was saint thomas and the apostle church in the town of launceston in cornwall in england um i've been promising this one for a while and I actually come here yesterday with the keys but then couldn't get the main door open here this giant medieval door behind me um so i've come back today and actually done the video for you eventually so like I said, I'll have goodness in people video up later on. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this little tour here of the church. Please check out my great content and playlist on this Paul B. Hossin 85. And please do not forget to like, especially subscribe and hit that notification bell. Much love to all of you and thanks for tuning in.